Hello folks again and Shalom. I have an interesting video I want to share with you on Facebook and social media. It is, involves a personal context uh, topic of interest about renters and renters' rights. First of all, I hope everyone's doing great, okay? I hope everyone's doing great. I'm teleworking this week. Social distancing is always nice when it works in your favor, right? Anyway, not getting there. Um, as you know, most people know my family, know my family quite well by now with all the videos, all the pictures of my wife and I, and my daughter, Eliora, of course, yeah. So sweet and adorable, right? Well, it takes a lot of time and effort to raise a child, especially at my ripe age of 55. Yes, I'm 55, and my uh, righteous wife is 11 years younger than me, anyway. We have, a, we have a Jewish family, Orthodox is our doctrine of choice here. Anyway, we live two years in Fairfax, Virginia. That's Northern Virginia, if you want to get a map, look at that. Uh, specifically in a community called Mantua. It's an older community, uh, a lot of retirees there, previous government workers, some veterans and things like that. I went to a Chabad show when I was there. Um, the neighbors there, living there, were just wonderful. They were splendid. Not one single anti-Semite anywhere that I knew of. If there was an anti-Semite there, I did not know who they were. Because I had an Israeli flag, an American flag, posted at my, my, the front of my house, on either side, married together, uh, in the front door. In fact, I had Amazon deliveries, uh, uh, United States Postal Service, some people said Shalom. Some people uh, uh, ask questions about the flag and things of that nature. It's always an opportunity for learning. Anyway, where I'm going is, okay. Um, we moved from Charleston, South Carolina, uh, more, a little more than two years ago, because we, we had a house that we put up for sale, then we had to rent it out. We had to go through all the business or property management and everything else. I've never done this before, I have a rental property. It was for about a year or whatever, and to, we had to maintain it and keep it up to standards, clean the carpet, gutters, and all this other stuff, yard uh, maintenance, all this stuff, termite protection. Anyway, anyone that's rented a property, you know, um, the older the property is, the more headache it can become. At some point, you'll be upside down in your cost-benefit analysis, right? Anyway, we have this house sold, and of course, uh, with my veteran, uh, benefits I was able to purchase a home in Silver Spring, Maryland. Yay, yay. But anyway, getting to that point, there was a two-year interval between Charleston, South Carolina as a homeowner, as a briefly as a as a rent manager, you know, I hired a property manager to take care of things because I couldn't be in South Carolina because I was working in DC. But anyway, during that time frame I had to stay in a leasehold rental property. It's a rather large house. And anything in Mantua and Northern Virginia and Fairfax County is extremely expensive, folks. You can easily purchase a house for $800,000 up to a million dollars and plus. Yes, very expensive real estate. Anyway, it's an older house, two-story house. Um, I had a lot of problems. The roof was into life. Uh, the HVAC was into life. Um, uh, some of the doors didn't close, the uh, foundation was starting to settle, you could see the back windows, uh, how the screen, uh, when you open the window, whatever, how it would not close tight and, and that kind of thing. Um, had a big large yard. Anyway, we enjoyed our stay there. We had wonderful neighbors, okay? I don't want to give them all, uh, give all the name and information, but the nice neighbors, uh, Claudia and Terry, next door neighbor. I like to refer them as no heights. Why? Because they have respect for, for Jewish life. They have respect for Jewish festivals. In fact, they came over during uh, Sukkot festival, uh, you know, festival huts. They actually came to my house. I had a lot of people come to my house at birthday parties for my daughter and things like that. Very friendly neighborhood, okay? How did I get that house in the first place? Well, I had to go on fact-finding mission. It's very hard to find any rental property of any reasonable size at any convenient location at all. So I had to do this on my own while my wife was getting packing up everything in South Carolina. Long story short, I worked out a rental agreement through Remax by a lady of, by the name of Judy uh, Wanus. That's W-O-N-U-S, okay? She appeared to be really nice. And actually a, um, a mortgage slash uh, uh, real estate guy, I can't remember, his name is Nick, I believe. 
He's the one that pointed me to, to Judy, okay, Carter and Judy. She was actually my next, next door neighbor that lived right across uh, the, the front of my, my, my house, my rental property there. Anyway, she seemed to be clear cut, shoot from the hip, honest, upright, here's a lease agreement, here are the terms of the lease, uh, please give me $3,500 for the security deposit. Ouch! And $500 for your pet deposit, little ch uh, chihuahua that's up in the years and it was crate train. Ouch again. But anyway, it is what it is. It's life, right? If you ever rented, you know you have to go through these inconveniences. Okay, you may not be ready to purchase a home financially, maybe cleaning up your credit report. There's a there's a thousand and one use case scenarios out there. I'm not not you may not get into that. Anyway, so I got to the point where I was ready to move. Okay, after two years, I notified um uh, Judy, uh, Judith uh, Wanis with Remax, the property manager, aka property manager. The reason why I said she was a property manager, she's the one that interviewed my family and decided to report me to the owner, his name is Ronald up in Ohio, reported to him that we, our family was interested, so we had to work out terms and everything else about the pet deposit and all this stuff. We reached an agreement and we signed everything. We said, all men, right? So we had a lease agreement and we're under the terms of the lease agreement. Okay, now in the property and rental agreement, okay, there was a lot of fine details. I didn't read every single thing in there uh, about like cleaning the gutters. I was there for two years and I cleaned the gutters once I was there. When I moved in the property, there were numerous issues like the gutters were full of, of vegetation and plant. They had things growing in there I didn't even recognize. Uh, and, and, and the National Ge Geographic uh, Zool, um, zoology uh, handbook or whatever of living organism anyway i'm joking but anyway when i hired someone to clean that up um, we contracted them to do that for a certain fee and he said you know if i would have known how bad these gutters were i would have charged a lot more but anyway we signed a deal or whatever anyway clean out the gutters he i said how long had that been clean i said i don't know maybe five eight years anyway i cleaned the gutters because i was the first thing i noticed that, you know, when it rains and flooding rain and all that, we've been very rainy weather in D.C., that you can have flooding and everything else if you have full gutters, okay? I didn't want the gutters to fall, collapse and fall off the foundation of the roof and then have me, as a, as a honest Jew here, to be blamed for not taking care of a property that was renting. Listen, when Jews move into any place, Tukun Alam takes over. We make it better than it was when we moved in, Okay. It was cleaner. I spent hundreds of dollars of bedding, you know, the little red bark or whatever you put in the shrubbery, make it look nice. I pull up weeds, I poison the weeds. I cut grass where no man uh, had gone before will push more all the way in the back. It was like almost a forest. You have deer out there and stuff. Yeah, it was nice, nice for my daughter and everything. Uh, when you have Bambi come up to your car when you come off work. Anyway, not germane, trying to joke and tr stressful situation. Long story short, the owner of this property has now, after more than 30 days, has refused to give me back my security deposit. Why, ha why has uh, Ronald uh, treated this honest Jew this way? Have I done anything to impugn his reputation? Have I done anything to damage his righteous house? I had mezuzahs on the doorways. Like I said, it was kept uh, not only clean, uh, but also sanctified, if you know what I'm saying, a Jewish thing about mezuzahs and stuff. Anyway, blessings and prayers were emanating in that house. You could hear shofar blowing every Shabbat. Anyway, I'm kidding again. But anyway, after I moved out, I was asking the owner, where's my security deposit? You know, crickets chirping. I asked the property manager, uh, Judith Wanus, where's my security deposit? He said, uh, I don't know, why don't, you, uh, why don't you ask the owner? Oh, you know, the, you know, the, you had a dog and, and the carpet downstairs, were, um, you know, may have been soiled. He may take that out right there, um, you know, painting and, and all of this. And, and you didn't cut the backyard. I told her my lawnmower blew up while I was cutting grass. Okay, I cut the front yard. She said at the time, that's fine. I explained my situation. I couldn't contract anyone at all because I was in a rush to get out of there to move and everything to a new property. And I had movers coming Anyway, it is what it is. It's life circumstances in the middle of coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, that was ongoing there too. But anyway, I've been communicating with the property manager. She says she's not a property manager now because she knows there is an issue, maybe unethical business practices, maybe 
uh, ethnic discrimination, religious discrimination? I don't know. How do you know when an anti-Semite is really an anti-Semite or not? Well, sometimes you have skeletons in your claws and sometimes they come out when, when life changes not in your favor. Anyway, the owner, whatever, him and his wife or whatever, you know, um, I don't wish him any ill will, okay? People have financial problems, financial issues, not my personal business at all. What is my personal business? I want my $3,500. That was an educational fund that was set up in escrow, yeah, gaining interest, for my daughter's new school. She's starting school soon, right? Baruch Hashem. Now that money is, is in limbo. But where I'm going is, you have renter rights. You have renter rights, okay? Listen, at least in Northern Virginia, most states are the same way. In 45 days, the owner of the property has to give you a security deposit back. That's law. Now, if you did things to damage the property, like if I punch my fist through a wall, make big holes in the wall and stuff like that, or burn cigarettes in the carpet, just intentional, malicious, nefarious damage of course i don't expect what i do things like that and some people have have rental uh, uh rage like road rage or whatever and see this is my daughter here and i'm going to explain to her in all the way that she's not getting her three thousand five hundred dollars because of a not so nice situation with remax yeah remax realty uh judah won us yeah judah won us look her up I can give you her information. I filed an ethnic complaint today. Yes, I did. I don't, listen, I don't like lawyers anymore. You know, Shakespeare said, shoot the lawyers. What? I don't, I don't like lawyers. I don't like these legal stuff. It's stressful. It raises my blood pressure. You know, I've, I've ever drink uh, uh, Shabbos wine, many Shabbos, and be happy and joyful and play with my daughter. But listen, I have this over my head. Listen, it does not help. Even if I don't succeed in this, even if it's not God's will and Hashem's will, I want to teach you. I put something on Facebook today. Please research this. Know your rights. Take pictures. Yeah. Draw draw pictures. Paint pictures in crayon. Get your daughter to, to, to paint pictures of your room. Before and out. Listen. In 72 hours after you vacate a rental property, the property manager or owner of the property has to give you a detailed, end-to-end, -end comprehensive inspection report. That was never furnished to me. I did not know that was a legal requirement for a renter in Dorvin, Virginia. Well, it is. I didn't get that. So you see, uh, you know, psychological suspicion, end of window and all this, uh, collusion, deceit and all this. Listen, I don't want to go there unless I have evidence. I don't want to impugn anyone's reputation. I, you can read, um, read in the Talmud, folks. If I'm talking about Jews, you know what I'm talking about. We don't impugn anyone's reputation and we don't judge anyone, right? We don't, especially if we don't have any witnesses. Now, I've been accused, long story short, I'm wrapping this up, I promise. I've been accused of $12,000 of damage in this property in two years' time. How did that happen? I don't know. Evidently, the new tenant is asked, has a Christmas Santa Claus wish list of things that she and her husband wants to fix in the house. I don't know what it is, man. Oh, I want a new roof. Oh, I want the gutters all, all replaced and cleaned. Oh, I want the backyard cut all the way down to the end of the creek or whatever. Something I never told I had to do. Um, I want new carpet in, 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 in the, in the um, basement or uh, first floor area. By the way, that carpet when I moved in, uh, the carpet looked like um, it had the wagon express that went across it. You know, you know like clean this wood on his horse. Uh, the carpet was that bad. I mean... My wife had to throw rugs and stuff over the bare areas where it was torn. I mean, we ran a steam vac, a professional steam vac. I bought good money for that steam vac. My wife, you, it smelled nice. It's clean. It smelled like roses and flowers, right? That's wonderful, wonderful. I cleaned it. The uh, Judy liked the smell of the carpet, noticed it was clean, said, I don't, you know, I, I usually have this professional clean. Uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah, and she told me, don't worry about repainting the walls or taking little tacks and nails out for your picture. She said, I will take care of that. Don't worry about your security deposit. She walked with me through the house, looking at different things and everything else, a week before I moved out, okay? And the garage was cleaner than it was when I moved in. <laughs> and I don't know what to say here. I am 55 years old. I've rented before. 
I've owned many houses. I've never been accused of damaging anyone's property. And my little daughter definitely did, and my little chihuahua definitely didn't do it either. $12,000. When did I have time to do $12,000 of damage? When I was at work all day, my wife was at home supervising everything in a home. I did not have wild orgies or parties in my home. I, my wife wouldn't, would kill me if I did that. And my daughter certainly would not think too much of her papa if I did things like that. Listen, I err on the side of caution. I don't adopt risky lifestyle behaviors. I live my life righteously. You know me. You know you are Ben Emmett, Keith Woodard on Facebook. You know who I am, okay? A proud Gulf War veteran, a proud Orthodox Jew, and a proud father to this beautiful daughter, and a proud husband to my wife, Susanna. Listen, watch out. Bait and switch. Buyer beware. When you rent any property, listen, you probably should hire a lawyer to walk in with you and look at the property and take videos of all the property, every single nook and corner there, okay? Because you never know what you're blamed with. I'm, I'm planning on hiring a lawyer and filing a lawsuit. Yeah, there's this type of special lawsuit, a uh, uh, warrant of debt or something like that. I don't know legal terms. I'm not a lawyer. Anyway, you can hire that, hire a lawyer to do that. It does not cost much of anything to do that. In Northern Virginia, a lot of this is free, okay, believe it or not. But renters have rights, okay? Um, it goes both ways. I mean, we cannot put the owner of a property and bad reputation and not pay our rent on time and not expect our credit report to be, be damaged. At the same time, they cannot show disrespect and discrimination for us. I believe when nothing makes sense in this situation, and when it's a Jew thing, you know, you smell anti-Semitism, even though people cannot spell anti-Semitism and probably do not say, I'm not an anti-Semite. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jewish life matters, all lives matters anyway. I'm not going there. But I'm saying, I'm putting Miss Judah Wannis on, on notice here, okay? I filed an ethics of com complaint with you, and I'm going to call Remax, and I'm going to ask them to review your renter's license, your uh, real realtor license to operate. And as far as the owner of that property, who's blaming me for $12,000 of damage in his property without a shred of evidence, he said he's going to send me a report. Listen, this report is about the new tenant that moved in, of things that she and her husband wants to be fixed in the property. Well, he said, I've spent so much money on this. It's your house, fella. It's your HVAC in the light. It went out. I didn't have any heat in the winter. Really? Yeah, and the plumbing was crap. I'm sorry for using that word. I'm, I'm sorry for using that word. Yeah, the pipes are old and have tree roots growing into it. Listen, this is what's happened to me. Maybe more beauty is to come. I don't know. I've had hired liars over anti-Semitism before, and I won. Listen, watch out. Please stand your ground, out, ground and take care of yourself, especially if you're Jewish, okay? If you're American Jew, whatever you are in the world, in Israel, whatever, be a proud Jew, okay? Listen, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, take care of yourself. Have a, a backbone of iron, okay? Stand up for yourself. Don't be cruel or hateful. Be in prayer and all the time. Be nice to people. But listen, when people are treating you differently than other people, that's called discrimination. That's why it's called discrimination, and my daughter's learning it the hard way. Take care.